this is an arcade version. Take off the hard drive, you just push in that right there and use your fingernail to take it off. Okay, so next what we have is the front face plate and that's very easy. All you do is grab it right on the front and just pull and it pops right off. So just along the edges on both sides and just do a little bit of a, of a pull and it should pop right off. Now the next thing you want to do is get a flathead screwdriver and along this side here, along the top, on both sides and the bottom, we're going to take off these vents here. Now on the sides, on the top and the bottom, there are these little tabs that you need to use a flathead screwdriver to push in and that just has a uh, friction fit so there's nothing you need to unscrew you just need to push in those tabs and unhook them from the white part of the plastic and then when you do that all the way across uh, it will lift up and usually on the other side it will come out just easily without even pushing so do that and then move on I'll flip it to the other side this just comes out um, so then you have the case, but we still have this other side where the hard drive would go if this was a pro or an elite version. Okay, so there is one right here that you can't get to by putting the screwdriver through a vent hole because there's no vent hole. So this is just by the disk drive. Now there is one right here, and so what you want to do is just, you know, I'll clamp it shut again. So you can see you just want to stick your screwdriver in right there and pop it out that way. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so this just fits right in there. So this is where this is where you're gonna be pushing. So this top one you have to kind of come in from above instead of trying to go straight through, but the rest of them and it's symmetrical on both sides. Okay, along the back of the Xbox here, you have those little pins all the way along, and you just want to pop those out with the same screwdriver. All right, so on the front of the Xbox, you just have these little friction tabs here, 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 and then here, and then obviously you have the uh, warranty sticker, and if you remove that, it does void your warranty, but chances are your warranty is void otherwise you'd be having this replaced so go ahead and take those off just by just by lifting like so okay so you can see it just kind of separates apart just like that and pop it off now this bottom part of the uh, case is covered or is connected bottom part of the case is connected to the uh, chassis or the cage whatever the case whatever you want to call it so now we have these parts here on the front that we'll want to take off this just comes off here this is the button mechanism and then you need a T10 and a T9 screwdriver a T10 for the outside bolts and a T9 for these black inside bolts. Okay, so for your convenience, I'm going to film the screw placement just in case when you took yours apart, you didn't pay attention. Um, on the inside ring here are all the small black screws. And then here you have the long silver, long silver, long silver, uh, long silver, long silver, as well as right here. And then the rest all the way around the Xbox are the, the smaller gold screws. Okay, so now that we've taken the screws out, this whole unit will just come out off from the uh, case. And here we have the inside uh, exposed. And on the inside, you can see uh, you'll want to vacuum out these heat sinks here and just kind of vacuum out the whole motherboard area if it's dusty. Uh, just to make the life of your Xbox last longer. But on the back here, what you want to do is unplug these two and this will pop right out. Okay, now on the front of the Xbox, 
There's some tape right there. Okay, so you just want to slice that there, just so you can pop that out. It just raises out. Now this can come off. This pops on and off. If you want to change the color of it, people sell those on eBay. Okay, so you can just unplug these, but be careful. I have seen some of these get damaged just because of a careless person. You can either unplug it from the board or from the back of the drive. Just, you don't want to pull directly on the wires. Okay. So we'll put that aside. Okay, here you have the fan assembly. You just want to kind of pull up. It locks right there on that tab. It'll come right out, and you can see it's a little bit dusty. But there you have this here. You can unplug that. This is the fan plug right there. Okay, and then just tip it forward. Oh, we forgot to take off this. Here's the here's the uh, power button assembly, and it's screwed on with three screws. One of the screws is behind this plastic cover, and the plastic cover just comes off like that. So one, two, and three. Okay, so I have it unscrewed. Now this unit is actually plugged into the board and it pulls out right there. So you just kind of pull up on it. That there. All right, so now we're gonna take out the motherboard and it's already been unscrewed on the other side. So you just pull it there. It comes right out. Okay, so here you have these clamps and you need to take them off. And this is actually uh, kind of a frustrating part if you don't have the patience, but you can break your uh, motherboard and then you're up a creek. So take your time with it. It does take a little time, um, but let me show you. Okay, so what you wanna do is just get a pair of needle nose pliers and insert it in and just kind of rock it gently back, back and forth. And it will come off. Um, but you don't want to put too much pressure on it and then go to the next one. Kind of difficult filling and talking at the same time. But as you can see, this one popped off right here. So we're just gonna work on that one opposite. And it is raising up. Oh, we had it right there, it looks like. So we're not too far. Oops, it's kind of hard to hold this and talk at the same time. Okay, so you can see that that one is raising off of the seat as well. Okay, you didn't really see that on camera because I was holding both, but so now we have these popped off and then it'll come off. Just don't slide it around. But there you have it. And then you want to work on this one the same way. There's a little bolt there. So the heat sink just dropped underneath. We'll get to that in a minute. Let me move it out of the way though. <clears throat> okay, so on this one again, just want to rock it, stick it in there. Just kind of rock it back and forth and then go to the opposite side. And then it's kind of like a tire we're taking off a tire, you're just gonna rotate sides. Okay, so that one sprung off, see? It's a very simple way. You don't need any special tools, just a pair of needle, no needle nose pliers. You just don't wanna force it though. You don't wanna bend anything here. There we go. So there we have it. 
second one is off. And there we go. Take off the heat sink. Okay, so here, what you want to do is clean that off. Find my razor blade here. See, I just slide, slide it off. I'm making it worse. I need two hands, but anyway, clean that off. You can use alcohol, some kind of goo gone stuff. There's all kinds of things you can do. Then you're going to want to do the same to clean off those, but just use a razor blade here and then use the goo gone or alcohol on there. I use this stuff here orange goop. This is a degreaser. Um, some mechanics. You can buy it at any auto shop. Dab a little bit on your Q-tip <clears throat> and use it to just smear it on where the thermal paste is and it acts as a solvent. So you just want to make sure that this is nice and clean before you uh, put your Xbox back together. And then just rub it with, I've got some alcohol soaked in on this cloth to further clean it. And it does a great job. So it's very clean. You have nice even contact. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing. Clean this off. Dip it on the other side and then just rub it gently onto the processor. Just the surface. Just to clean it off. And get another Q-tip and uh, get some rubbing alcohol on there and just clean it off as best you can. That's very clean. You don't want any extra fibers in there either. If you have your Q-tip, this gets hot and you don't want anything, any foreign matter in there. Anyway, do that to both chips. This one still has some grease on it. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reflow the solder and I will be using a heat gun. Um, but first I need to take off these here. These pads uh, conduct heat away from, the, from these chips. So take those off and then we'll go to the next step.